Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the show. This is the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. Our first B-side elimination round matchup is between Allison Fisher and Margarita Fefalova. This is a race to eight. Alternate break format, lag for the first break. Pretty excited about today. Oh, by the way, this is Lonnie Fox Raymond. Wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you're share, liking, and subscribing. Got a, quite a few matches today, so stay tuned. We have the 10 a.m. matches B side round, then we have the uh, the A side winner bracket final match between uh, Bean Hung and Christina Zlateva, and that'll be at noon central time. And then it'll be 15 minutes every 50, after every match, it'll be 15 minutes later, and we'll just continuously go. So please enjoy the stream. You guys are welcome to go to digitalpool.com to check out the brackets. Hola. Hola. All right, Allison Fisher to break. Good morning, everybody. We are we are well rested and ready to go. I don't know about well rested. Oh, I feel well rested. A lot of coffee this morning as well. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So I think we've been here before. I'm not sure how many times these two have actually played, but I can recall at least one or two. Well, they <clears throat> um, they just recently played. Uh, I don't remember if they played at ICB, um, but they totally played in Wisconsin, and Margaret actually won that matchup. It's a nice matchup. It was a great match, actually. So we have Brittany Bryant and Christina Tkach on our other table, correct? Yes. Yep. Little, she went just a little too far, I think. There, she can make it work. If it's too steep of an angle, she can come across table. You know, the six M6 is close to the center, she could go short side, it's not much of a difference. Or she can try and hold it if she's straight enough. Okay, so the cross table was the thing, but. Now that'll work. <laughs> um, the four ball's in the pocket, so this is a really difficult um, kick because sometimes when you make it, you scratch right behind it. She's definitely going for the kick, though. The speed is going to have to be really good. Obviously, wants the cue ball to stay down there, so it's like a lag. Yeah. She's going to have to make sure she she shortens it up just a tiny bit past that nine. Oh, so She's going to hit nine. it good. Oh, <laughs> how you like that, folks? She hit it great. She did. She hit that great. Wow. I, th I thought she was going to hit the nine. She was so close to it. She was. Oh, my gosh. Made me nervous, but just right past it. 
Now, Margaret, I, I watched her um, striking some balls in practice, and she looks really steady this morning. It's fine. Yeah, I believe Margaret. Uh, Margaret is actually like a 30-time Belarus champion. So I think a 35, and based on her age, I'm, I'm, and there must be more than one championship a year. Yeah. That's what I said, unless she's been playing since before she was born. <laughs> well, I'm a good 12 to 15 years older than Margaret, and I have 35 Michigan titles. Mm -hmm. I don't so know. I don't yeah. know how she managed that. That's what I'm but... <laughs> saying. I don't understand. I, we should ask her sometime because I've always wondered that. It's on our bio. Mm -hmm. I'm like that's too many. That's unless you have unless I have two a year yeah. or something, and then that would make sense. And Margaret is uh, she's sponsored by Kamui and Jam Up. I don't know if those. I know those are her two main sponsors. I, she may have a couple more. I'd have to look at her bio sheets. Yes. Jay, David, she did. Almost. Almost. So close. I think once you get to this level, this final six girls, they're all pretty evenly matched up. So you're going to see a lot of that with the alternate break format. Shout out to the sponsors for this event, especially Darren Hamilton, our main sponsor. Also to Holt Family Dental Care, Adela's, Mad Hatter Billiards, Iowa City Women's League, Midwest One Bank, and Morrissey Law Offices. Um, also shout to City of Fairfield and the Visitors and Convention Bureau of Fairfield, Ohio, or Iowa. I said Ohio, like I'm from home. Yeah. Um, and then some of the other sponsors down below. And then always tour sponsors are Myth Diamond and Simonis Jam Up Apparel, Outsville Servitude, Photography, and Digital Pool. Our tried and trues. Yep, tried and trues for yeah. a long, long time. Yep. 19 what? 71? 6? 76? I'll have to look that up. It's around the year I was born, so. I might be a little, just a tad older than the tour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I know. <laughs> we know. Oh, looky, there's Carly. Good morning, Carly. Good morning, Carly. It's probably not, probably not morning for her. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Good evening, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the UK there. You're up. All right. Sorry, everybody. We had to step out of the booth for a second and try to get the uh, the links for the uh, digital pool scoring figured out. Currently, the score is one to zero in favor of Margarita.
All right, she came up a little funny here, a little short on this six ball. I don't know if she was trying to go short or trying to go long. Or, yeah. I think she was trying to hold it for the six in the side. I don't know if she's going to go ahead and try to play a safety here or she's going for it. She's safing. I like that. She's got the seven and the eight to kind of add a little bit of protection. I do think it leaked out and she got the edge of that six ball. If she does, it's just a tiny edge. She doesn't have the whole ball that I'm about sure of. Right. Touche. Is she going to get it under this nine? Wow. Oh. Oh, boy. Looks like Margaret came to the table. These ladies are on a mandatory 40-second shot clock. <laughs> Sorry, we've got clicking and all kinds of things going on. I'm trying to keep up. Too many things. <clears throat> oh, she's going to bump it. Oh, I think she's okay, but that's not exactly what she wanted to do there. So just play this with a high ball. Shoot the eight in the same pocket. She wants it to go. It's got to move. Now here's one of those shots, and I know that you guys at home know what I'm speaking of here, where uh, you try to drag this ball around three rails and end up shooting from the bottom rail. <laughs> like, so let's see how Allison Fisher executes this shot. Yeah, she definitely didn't get stuck on the bottom rail. That's no. wonderful. That was beautiful. Great shot. But I know the people at home know what I speak of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many times you see people do that. All right. Allison Fisher evening up the score. This is, uh, with the alternate break format, there's a tendency for these matches to go hill hill quite often we're right, gonna pop over here and check out uh, Christina Takach and Brittany Bryant this is the other b-side matchup Aw, thanks, Chuck. Yay. That's a super chat. All right. Wow. Pretty good break. What's she gonna oh look at the little bump. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. <laughs> Last ball rolling. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know, though. Maybe, maybe. We might have made her a combo in the side. There's enough room past the eight there. It's possible. It's possible. Let's see what Allison Fisher decides to do with this setup here. It's a little funny. The six is sitting a little funny. I'll have to see what she comes up with. I think that uh, if the combination goes, she may, being that it's early in the set, she may opt to shoot that. She could also play the safety and just try to get up under the... Yeah. She might have leaked that out, though. I don't know about that. Well, it doesn't go. It's just, it just leaves it open for another pretty tough safe. Mm-hmm. We had a good little safety battle on the six in that last track, so we'll see how this one goes. This, the way the balls came back together in the center, they just, she broke good, and then it all just kind of came back together. All right, so she's kicking. The pink, the pink ball there tends to uh, be a really good blocker ball. Six, a seven, whole little wall of balls there. Oh, well, yeah, there you go, folks. A wall of balls. A wall of balls. <laughs> yeah, Leanne. <laughs> She's like, hmm, hmm, what do I do with this? It's a good one. It's a good one. I'm not sure. She's calling her extension. So ladies get a 40-second shot clock with one extension per rack. All right, looks like she's kicking at it from this direction. I These two ones make me nervous because the nine ball's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, <sighs> Allison Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like that? She kind of puts her hands up. she's got shape. <laughs> she's got shape. She, she puts her hands up to Margaret like, mm, sorry. sorry. She's, she's, that was great. Ooh, highlight reel. Mm, there you go. <laughs> That's one for the books. All right, so it looks like Allison Fisher back to work. And actually, that little safety play kind of opened some things up for her, and that worked out really well. So now she's got a, the six goes in the side. The seven could be a little bit funny just because the nine blocks its closest pocket. Let's see how she decides to go about it. Checking it out, deciding where. I think she uh, she realizes that you know, depending on where she falls on the six, really makes a big difference on what she does with the seven. Mm -hmm. There's, it's too close to put in a side pocket on the left. Corner pocket's blocked with the nine. Eight balls blocking another. It it just doesn't have a whole lot of choices <laughs> for the seven. You mean for the for yeah for the yeah. seven? It's yeah. just, there's so many pockets not available. Yeah. That. Yeah, she, she really, on the, I think she went too far. Yeah, I feel like too. She may have to accept the combination on the 7-9. Unless she rolls forward for the 7 in the opposite corner, but it would be a tight, it would be a sharper angle. Mm -hmm. And so I think she just looked at that, actually. I hate combinations. Do I say that? I do. Yeah, she's going to take it. Yeah. I just don't think there's any risk. I mean, if you're going to shoot any, or you're going to take any risk, you might as well take the risk that you're making the ball, like making the winning ball, you know? If you accept a harder shot on the seven, this is just as hard, so. These combinations can be tricky. They're a little off angle, and she's a diamond out of the pocket with the nine ball. So she's used her extension, so she rushed to get down yeah. there after. Hey, there nice shot, nice Allison job. Fisher. Breaking rack four. It's Margaret Vefalova. 
Let's pop over to table two here. See how this match is going. Looks like Brittany is up two to one against Christina. Oh, and Christina's kicking at the one ball. Nice shot. Uh oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, wow. Brittany's going to come to the table with ball in hand. Thanks, Gazelle. Yay. Amazing. All right. Back to the feature table. Waiting for a big break. Let's see what she's got. It's still early. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big. Look at that. Oh, six ball. Stay out I of the know. way. Oh, look at that. A little bit of a tester to start, but. This will really put your nerves in check. <laughs> <laughs> the shot right here. <laughs> It's not like you have to be perfect or anything. Uh-uh. You're only playing Allison Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. No, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck and Gazelle, for the donations in the chat. Y'all, we're looking at changing quite a few things this year with equipment. We want to upgrade quite a bit. The only way we can do that is with your help. We always want to provide a free stream for you as much as possible for as long as possible so oh that that's gonna leave a mark mm, yes that's definitely gonna leave a mark definitely gonna leave a mark that's what i said about it being a tester mm -hmm. you know that one ball was tough she was shooting from the rail i mean that's one of those shots where if you even have a slight twitch you're not making it <laughs> Starter there. Let's go ahead and see what the angle is on this three. Allison's trying to decide if she can follow through to shoot that pink four in the left hand side pocket. Oh, yeah, this should be plenty fine. And she can kind of just, I mean, if she wants to punch down to that rail and back out, she can. But if she just rolled this in at pocket speed, she needs a little angle on the five anyway. Just like that. Nice shot. A little bit of draw, get her back out towards the middle of the table there for the six. I mean, all these bowls are fairly textbook for Allison Fisher. For those of you guys at home, I try to learn a little something. This would be the lady to watch for sure. Beautiful shot. Looking like she just might be able to take a couple game lead here. Yeah, she's definitely going to take advantage of that uncharacteristic miss by Margaret. It's a tough beginning shot. Yeah, it was. It was a true tester. Oh, is she going to... They've opted to leave the Outsville template rack right there. Great shot. Allison Fisher, three to one. All right, let's pop over and check out the action on table two. This is Christina Takach and Brittany Bryant. 
I believe the score <laughs> is two to one. I'm not sure if it's refreshed or not. Bernice playing a nice safety. Wow. <gasps> no, 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 no. Why? Ooh. Every time I come, we come to this thing, it's... somebody scratches. We need to stay away from this table. Do you know? <laughs> that did. We did literally. And it was a kick and a scratch and then a safe and a scratch. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to. Uh... Yeah, I feel bad almost. <laughs> Go back. We didn't Every do time it. I show up, last time Christina scratched. <laughs> I know. We didn't do it. It wasn't our fault. Oh, poor girls. I'm so sorry. Forgive us. Don't blame me. Aw, thanks, Carly. Aw, Carly. You're super chat. You are amazing, too, Carly McGee. Hope you love your freshies. All right, great break. Got a little kick on the cue ball, but it'll be okay. It actually Look worked out that. perfectly. Nice shot on the one, but the two. How much angle does she have? Oof, da. Mm, not a lot. <laughs> I, I I think enough that she can make, you know, she can make the cue ball move. Uh, maybe some high right hand English. If she, she might... opted to just leave the cue ball in or the center of the table, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe because lined up with the nine. Yeah. It's a tough cut, but she's and it got doesn't... those glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, she's got those glasses yeah. on. But it doesn't really lend itself to getting back on the three. That's the only problem with that. Yeah, so much traffic still. Yeah, there's just so many. I mean, it's like a little V of balls right there. This is tough. Beginning is shot. Tough. tough beginning shot. I wonder if she could play this. Now, I mean, this is way out in left field, but play with some high right-hand English and spin it around three rails and get on the short side of the two. That would be one stroke I'd like to see. She could do it. She can do it. She can do anything. She's going for the winder. The winder. Which is ultimately the better shot, but... Let's see if she can <clears> get around <throat> traffic then, right? Which I am, is the problem. Yeah. Yeah, the problem, is, <laughs> the problem is definitely the traffic, but she could, if she can get through the window of the pink four and the black eight there, she could get through that window. She could get on, you know, in that top left-hand corner pocket, shoot the three up here. Does it look like she's putting inside on it? I think she is. She's oh, no. just playing the safety. She's so much smarter oh, but, than we are. but, 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 mm-mm, that, mm-mm. It leaked. Leaked a lot. Yeah. It leaked a lot. <clears throat> but Margaret's still ultimately in the same position, kind of, as Allie was on the two. It It's leading away from the red three ball. She could try to drag this around and... Maybe come into the window between the five and the seven. I don't know. This is tough. It's, this is a tough one. These are the ones that I'm always like, oh, I'm going to bump all of the things. Should she get through there? She's going to bump. She's bumping, gonna bump. bumping will work. In that situation, bumping works fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the bumping. Those are good bumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like good bumps. There was just a risk with that. She hit it well. Mm -hmm. She kept it. Mm -hmm. She kept it in enough. To not get behind any of that Gosh. traffic, so that's good. Great shot. Okay, it's going to keep a good angle to not hit the eight ball. Come off the long round, back out to the center of the table for the five. I actually spoke with Margaret in Wisconsin after she played Allison on Sunday in Wisconsin, and... Um, she was saying it's so tough because Allison's kind of her idol, right? So when she you said, start, she yeah, said, really? oh yeah, Allison, oh. she loves her. She she really was a, she was a reason that she wanted to come over here and play pool was because of Allison. Oh my, I did not know that. So, yeah, that's so, awesome. So Margaret, uh, like now that she's playing at that point in her career where she's playing against her idols, how difficult that is for her, and how you know she, she tries so hard. She actually defeated Allison. I think they had a Hill Hill thriller in Wisconsin. Of course, nobody defeated Allison at Iron City. <laughs> <laughs> I love that her mom was there. Oh, yeah. To share and all so that. It was fun. so awesome. 
so much fun. And her speech was great. Good shot by Margaret. She can just one rail. I probably would play it too, just to not to end up with the cue ball on the rail. Like you purposely tell yourself, okay, two rails. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that you don't end up frozen to the side rail there. I don't know about you, but I can't seem to get off of that rail. In this you shot. Oh, that's your spot. Yeah. Your friends. It's Angela and her rail. To... They're like tight. They, yeah. <laughs> wish we were not. I wish we didn't get into an argument. Thank you very much. Margaret, that a girl. She's oh. closing up that gap a little bit. All right. She needed that right there. It was a great, great out by Margaret. Really enjoyed the two to the three. It was a great shot. Nobody kick and scratch or do anything of scratch right now. Nobody scratch. Oh. Nobody scratch. I feel like we should not be allowed to watch this table. <laughs> Nobody scratch. I really want to watch this table, but I feel bad every time we show up. <laughs> we have survived right there. We survived. Yeah, we made it one shot in and nobody, nobody scratched. Nobody scratched. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> it's a nice uh, shot. She fell a little straight on this ball, on that three ball. I think she's uh, she's going to have to just play it forward and accept a little bit of a cut on the purple four, which she needs or anyway. She... Oh, she say, she she's punched it over a little bit. I don't like shooting over that eight ball though. Yeah, that was why I didn't like that. I, the punch over, oh. I was a little weird about that. Like she's a little person too. Like having to bridge Reach. over a ball <laughs> is tough. No, it's not too inclined. It's not yeah. too. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. Definitely be worse. Right. Ooh. Back in action on the main table. Margaret to break. Oh, goodness, another nice. solid break. She got that cue ball to just squat right there oh, oh, in the oh. center. Look at that. She's perfectly fine. This is a great opportunity for Margaret. Let's go tie it up. That's a beautiful break. Nice open table. And here, really, she just has to commit. She goes back and forth on the two. She has to be mindful that the side pocket is a factor trying to get to the three. So it, it's definitely a preference. If, I don't know if she should try to get under this two. I don't know. How do she you, might put the two, go for the two in the side because it's easier to get on the three that way. Exactly. I was just, you know, there's a little more traffic to contend with by going that way. But, but she's not. I no, think she's I going back and forth and accepting the shot on the yeah. two. Boy, there's a certain angle here she doesn't want to end up at. Oh. Yeah, she might be okay. She's. I think she's, yeah, I think she's okay. It's, t it's close, but I mean, she has to hit it good. I think she's okay. She just got there. Barely, yeah. Barely, barely. <clears throat> oh, she's over the five ball. She's, this is a difficult shot already, and now she's shooting over a ball, so. Nicely done. Beautifully. Oh, and it landed perfect. Look at that. Because really, she can just stop this ball. She doesn't have to do anything yeah, with it. Yeah, it's perfect to the four and the fives down here. It's mm -hmm. great. It was a great execution on that two ball. It's a game-winning shot. It is. Thank you, Mark Ellers, for your... Uh, chat donation. Keep them coming, folks. I pushed, sorry about the giggling, I pushed a button that I wasn't supposed to push. This time it was my fault. Well, I was like, what's, what's going, going on? on? <laughs> Angela, happened. quit clicking buttons. She's touching all the buttons. <clears throat> all right. Mm. She wants this ball to move. All right, great shot.
Thanks, Tracy. Super chat. Those are, I think they're called super chats and super stickers. Their first super on lives. Yeah. I like it. What am I going to call them a super chat? Yeah. Super chat donation. Yeah. Let's go. Every little bit counts. Tracy, is that one of the stickers or is that, I'm can you tell me, tell me what that is. That's cool. I like that. It says LOL. I can't tell what the rest of it is though. Can you? I know, but it's very happy. It's, it's very happy. I know. Oh, it's a dude laying down, like slapping his hand like he was laughing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I see good. it now. Okay, now I see it. Yeah. All right. Great. Great shot by Margaret. She's taking that Altsville template rack off the table. All right. Beautiful. Margaret Fefalovis Dyer. All right, well, the ladies are racking on our feature table. Let's check out Brittany and Christina. Great shot by Christina there. <clears throat> Beautiful. Good Chris, shot. Looks like Christina Tkach has taken the lead in that match by one. I'm telling you guys, with this alternate break format, it lends itself to some hill hill thriller <laughs> hill hill thrillers. So we're we're in for some great matches today. Got Brittany and Christina, and uh, we got Brittany and Christina on the other table, and Margaret Fefalova and Allison on this. Who wants to be on the B side of this tournament? Mm, no, <laughs> no. It just sounds scary. <laughs> it, it is. Allison had a great break here, but the five eight is um, tied up. Yeah, manageable. She gets on it, um, but still makes this rack a little bit difficult. There's also the three ball. I don't think it goes past the four, so I'd have to that where the two ball is. That might make getting onto the three or that combo looks a bit more difficult. That three to four. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's going to choose to do mm -hmm. here. So I think depending on how she lands how on the about two. Just, oh, no. whoop, whoop, whoop. Wow, she got close there. No, oh, close. The girls, the ladies here are so fun. So if they get a little bump or a, a little bit of a you lucky, know, lucky roll, roll they, they always I'm show sorry. like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. If I'm playing Allison Fisher and I get a bump, I'm not saying I'm sorry. I'm going to be <laughs> jumping and doing cartwheels and maybe some high kicks. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Like... <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Does it go past the four? Are we missing it? Mm. She, oh, she's peeking. <clears throat> she's peeking. Maybe it does. I, I don't, don't think know. it does. It's it tricky. just doesn't look this like does it to me. Well, none of our views give me that view. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. How do I say? Oh, Tamarin. Jake. Tamarin. Thank you, Tamarin, for your donation. And Jake. Yeah. You are amazing. That's right. You, you, you. you. It's about you, buddy. It's about you. <laughs> oh, it goes. Wow. Wiped its feet twice. Yeah. That's used, a tough shot. She used all of that pocket. Oh, my goodness. That was a tough shot. Great job. Now, here she's in the same situation. What do I do? Do you play short side and kind of get the cue ball where she's standing? She's looking at that. You can tell. Or under it, if it goes in the side, I think she's giving herself, okay, if I try to play this position, mm -hmm. what pockets does this five ball go in? The short side on the five, <clears> that's <throat> such a tiny space for position. That's my favorite. So tiny. It makes you look like a BA when you can get in the tiny winder. <gasps> See? 
Look how cool she looks when she does that. I'm going to have to say she looks pretty cool. That's why she's the GOAT. Such a beautiful shot. Yeah, Speed yeah. and angle. Definitely perfect like to that. get, I mean, in this tiny, itty-bitty window. This is what makes her Allison. Beautiful. Such a good shot. All right. Like get out there. Beautiful oh. shot. She makes it look too easy. I'm sorry. I think she fell a little straight. Yeah. 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 I saw the face that she made. That's the only reason why I know that Allison fell straight there. Allison has a, oh, man, I'm straight in face. Don't we all have a straight in yeah. face? When you watch her enough and you do commentary for her enough, you start to see the facial expressions. If I just watched Allison and didn't look at the table, I would know what position she was in <laughs> quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Just based on her facial expressions. Long stop shot, or ooh, she didn't. She didn't like that. She was All an right. angle. There was an angle. She hit that beautifully. Smooth, wasn't it? Very smooth. relaxed and smooth. Four to three. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of back and forth action in this match. So looks like we're uh, we're gonna have a good show today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pop over while those ladies are breaking or racking. Oh, she's on a nine ball. Christina is on the nine ball. Two game lead. Yeah, yeah. That's the first significant lead, I think, in the in the entire match. Mm -hmm. Well, got racking happening everywhere. Check out our sponsors, folks. Real quick. There we go. Those are the sponsors. Those are the sponsors for the Fairfield Invitational. Darren J. Hamilton, Mad Hatter Billiards, Holt Dental, Adela's, Midwest One Bank, and of course, Iowa City Women's League, Morrissey. We appreciate you guys for having us here and sponsoring our event. And of course, the tried and trues. Ta-da! <laughs> it's the first, Lonnie's first ta-da <clears throat> of the day. Like last night, I caught myself making noises in the match, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm sound making effects. Angela's sound effects. Sound effects. <laughs> Angela's sound effects. Angela comes I with sound effects. I cannot help it. It is a natural thing. I do not, I mean to do it, and I probably couldn't stop if I tried. I just, I make sound effects when I cook. It's just, wow, look at this. Okay. Where is it going to, where is it going to land? Pretty good break. Is the five ball in the way for the two to go to the corner pocket? We're about to find out. One, two, three, one, two, three. She made two balls on the break. Pretty sporty. The time calculations are correct. It's just after 1030. It is. That is correct. It is 1041 right now. In Fairfield, Iowa, it is 2.38 a.m. here in Sydney. Thank you, Fleur, for watching. Very late and early in the morning. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. So here she's got another really starter tester to this, kind of like that one ball a couple racks ago. She's got to get past this first difficult shot. She is down a game. Oh, so... Great attempt, but she hit the seven and just knocked it out of the way and, and kind of left the cue ball there. I think Allison can see that whole ball, if not a pretty large percent. That's bad. Um, my favorite shot that she does here is she just comes off the top rail and that cue ball slides right back underneath that nine and sticks right to the back of it. And it's a pretty good shot. If she's got the right angle, she might do that. Oh, look at you, Cindy. So yeah, everybody, if you're in the chat, if you back out of the chat and for the YouTube video, click the like button, please. The likes do matter for us. That's a very important thing. So just back out of the chat real quick. Hit the like button. Share it if you don't mind. If any of you have any social media groups or anything like that for pool groups, but hit that like button and then you can go back into the chat. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness, did she just fire that ball? I was not expecting her to be offensive there. She liked it. The confidence. I 
I gotta I gotta write this down. This is a highlight reel moment for me. That was a two ball bank. A pretty good one. Yeah, definitely a shot, wasn't it? <gasps> no, and then see that happens it seems like so much you make a great shot and then the next one ends up sitting in the pocket like that I hate when that happens hate it happens to us all even Allison she is definitely reaching to that ball and she went rail first, try to move the cue ball. But she just came up short here on the, or short or long. She's kind of in between here on the five. Um, I would opt to put the five in the corner. Yeah, she's aiming that up. That way she can get shape on the six. I think she would have been nice to be in the side. It would have been easier, but she hit it, that three ball too soft. So she's opting here to put the five in the corner. Come out to the long rail, nice and smooth, back out for the six. Depending on what angle she has, she would put the technically the seven in the side, but I think she's looking at it. She's gonna have to hold the six ball. I think the angle's a little little bit of an angle. Thank you for sharing, Lisa. Yep, we need more likes, everybody. Back out of the chat, hit the like button and go back in, please. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, I didn't think that seven was going to hold for the side. I really didn't. I thought the angle on the six was too much. Not that I like being right, but I was. It's just hard to hold a ball that much. Although Miss Steyer has the greatest coach on earth to hold that ball. It's one of his best shots. That worked. Great stop shot there. And she's got a nice angle on the eight to come back up. Always personal preference how people shoot this ball. Whether they do one rail, whether they do two rails outside, top, and really is just the players are all different. Some people like to go one way and put it in this corner pocket. Some people like to go the other and put it in the other corner pocket. She opted for a simple one rail speed straight up the table. She didn't really put any English on that ball hardly, which is why she's got this shot. A little bit more of an angle on the nine. But if she makes this nine ball, she'll tie it up. She did. Nice job. It looks like on our other table, we've got Brittany Bryant after a nine ball here. Close this gap. Just did. Nice job. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com. All right, let's see what Allison's got for a break. Again, pretty sporty break. These ladies are breaking really well. Ooh, beautiful, except for this 3-4 little cluster down there could pose to be a little bit of a problem. She's looking at it. It's like, what to do there? 
Let's see if we can't look at our other view here. Pretty close together. They're a bit of a problem. Sorry, my head fat. my headset just about fell off my head. So Oh Bridge go. We don't have a bridge on that side. Oh she's got her own she went to go for the bridge and she's like, Oh wait, I have my own. <laughs> uh she's I not sure where she's gonna end up, but I know she's playing safe on the three. There's not She's shooting with a bridge here. There's not a shot. This is tough. And we're shooting over the seven? Oof. Oof -da. And she's on a shot clock, so. Okay. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna do something here with the safety. Unless she's banking the three ball. She just did that in the last rack and banked the two. So I, I really shouldn't. I don't, don't think there's a spot there. There's not a spot there. Let's see what she had in mind here. Oh, she needs, she wanted to get that behind the nine. Definitely. It was, that's not what she wanted. This is not what she wanted. She wanted that cue ball behind the nine for sure. Not too sporty, huh? I think Allison's doing pretty good so far. And then that. What? Mm. That was, yep. A gift that she did not want to give. She would like to take the gift back. She's got four balls here left. 
I would go for the 7 in the side, stop shot on the 8, 9 in the corner. Really just get position on the 7 on the side and it's over from here. Where is she, where is she going? Where is she going? Oh, she hit that just not good. That, yeah. <clears throat> Did not hit that 5 ball good. I think she hit it really thin. So Allie got the gift back. Now she's got to she's got to take advantage of that. Great shot recovery there. Perfect. She'll take it. A little back and forth action between these players. Just a nice little hold the cue ball. This is a race to eight, folks. We are 5-4. Our other table, it looks like that score is correct. Something just happened, so it might update in a moment. But it looks like Christina Tkach is breaking. See if we can't catch this break real quick before we hop back over to our feature table. Wow, look at that. It's a good break. That's a really good break. Can she see the two ball though? She cannot. Doesn't seem fair, does it, to break the balls that good and not be able to see the first numbered ball. All right, here for another break. Back to our featured table. Margarita Fafalova is up to break. This is rack number 10. So good beginning shot, uh, except did she, did she just took herself, <coughs> she might have just hooked herself on that two ball, did she go for a jump kick? She did. Yeah, it looks like she's going airborne. And Margaret's a very proficient jumper. Look at that. Uh, what uh, a great shot. Over hit it a tad. I think she was aiming more to get that three in the side, right hand side pocket, but mm -hmm. 
She's going to have to come with one solid execution here. If she can do that, she can get back in line. She's looking at the line. She's going to cut that thread three to the left-hand corner pocket. She's just making sure that the brown seven isn't a factor. Getting positioned to that four. These are the Aramith Pro Cup balls. So we're using the pink four and the orange five. This looks to me like she's overcutting this. It just looks so odd. Yeah, she might be okay here though. She's kind of, you can see her look up at the heavens like, oh my gosh. They are on a mandatory 40 second shot clock. So you might see her look up occasionally towards the camera and that's her just making sure she's got enough time on the clock. Yep, see her look back. Just making sure these girls have great time management, by the way. She's definitely got a kick. That's brutal. Oh, get oh, don't oh. oh Angel is rubbing off on me, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Thanks for that. That was nice. All right. She's going to have to play a little bit of a safety here. Seven ball lens for that. Oh, she came up short. So Allie comes back to the table, and she's got a great opportunity here to extend her lead. The last track, Margaret got a little funny off the five in the pocket when Allison missed, and then got close to the seven. Now this has happened. Last couple of racks, she's had some opportunities and wasn't able to capitalize on them. So that makes it a little tricky. Um, good for Allison, bad for Margaret. Little tester here. We'll see if Allison's zoned in. She's gonna draw to the rail and back out. And be mindful of this side pocket. Oh. A little tricky there, a little tough. She's this is a definitely a cuttable ball for Allison, but she's gotta make some decisions on speed and what she'd like to use on the shot. What cue ball English she would like to use. She doesn't want to hit it too thin with a bunch of right hand spin or she's going to end up under the nine. So I like this. Great shot. Way to get it back under control there. Oh, hi, Jackie. What's happening? Great, Greg, we can't wait. Make sure you stop us and say hello if you see Angela and I there. <clears throat> All right, Allison Fisher. A little back and forth action, but uh, she came out victorious. Let's pop over to the other table. Christina Takach and Brittany Bryant are in a heated battle as well. Yeah, we definitely, for the folks here at the WPBA, we all really enjoy meeting the fans and the spectators and the chats. And so uh, make sure if you do make it to one of our events live that you stop and say hello to all of us. All right, we're going to have to go back to our main match. Brittany Bryant has drained that two ball. What a great shot by Brittany. And she come around two rails for a great shot on the purple four. 
going to get back to the feature match here. We are six to four. Allison's holding on to that lead. She's, she's, they've had a little back and forth action the last two matches, and unfortunately, Margaret's taken some pretty bad beats. And this is an elimination match, so it's either win or go home. Poor Margaret, it's like, you know, pulling kings and then flopping aces, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> your opponent gets some aces. You're like, man, what a bad beat. It's brutal. Yeah, Brittany played that two ball shot really well, I agree. This is a, this is a, I mean, it's a, it's really not that bad. No. Not that sharp, no. and it, it's natural shape back to the two, so this looks really good. Yeah, this just allows her to get back to the center, kind of by the side pockets. It's ultimately would be a great place to be. Perfect. She hit it beautifully. Perfect. Punch the two out for the four. Natural for the five, seven, eight. It's literally almost just take what the table gives you for the rest of this rack. It's beautiful. Would put her on the hill. Just wanted to say to people, if you guys could take a second just to back out of the chat and hit the thumbs up button, we would appreciate that. Make sure you're sharing the stream to all your favorite pool groups. Answer a question in the chat for you real quick. My name is Angela Janik. I hail from the great state of Ohio. And? Oh, sorry. I was watching the game. Uh, this is Lonnie Fox Raymond, and I'm from Michigan. Go Blue. Oh, Buckeyes. Oh, yeah. We already know, though. <laughs> we already know. But we are, we, are, we are bestest of coffee friends and stream buddies. Yeah, even though we're technically state rivals, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lance, so um, our main production table has the Aramith Pro TV set. Um, the secondary tables all use just the regular Aramith, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. So they have the purple four and the uh, orange five, and these this table has the pink four and the orange five. It was not designed that way. Something happened in sh uh, our shipping of our tournament sets for this event. And so luckily we had a, these sets available to us. Mm -hmm. Normally we are always playing with this particular set, the TV Pro Cup set. Yes. On every table, but we didn't have enough. So we yeah. have some of the others. Yeah. So basically we lost them in shipping. So you know how that, that can happen. It, it does happen. It does. So we made the best of the situation. The ladies have not had a problem. Obviously, Aramith is the best of the business. You can't get a bad set. So um, that's what I have. Yeah, nobody's nobody's had a problem with it. They all play the same. It's just different colors. So yes, you are right, Lance. No hallucinating. You're not having any flashbacks. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks, Greg. Yeah, it was, it was a tough start, right? Rough start, good finish. All right, Allison Fisher. She is on the hill, ladies and gentlemen. This is a race to eight. Those couple racks where Margaret had opportunities and things got kind of wonky have now played into the Duchess of Doom's favor. Mm, Christina... Wait, wow. wait. She actually wishes that one ball would not uh, have fallen. Yeah. Because now Great she's break, stuck though. with it. It was a one, two. Did she make three? She did. Look at that. Mm. And not a great starting shot on the three. Wish the one ball would have stayed and would have been out. But now she's got a three. That's not so great. She could still get out. She's just going to have to come with one. Come with it right or now. Or play the safety, which is probably more likely to happen. Yes, well. Unless she's feeling good, Unless right? Unless you're Allison and banking yeah. back two balls. I mean, yes. Um, Allison actually is the one that was in the booth with us in Wisconsin, and she made mention that you know you shoot shots sometimes, even though there is a right and wrong shot. Sometimes, sometimes you shoot the bank shot because you feel like it's going to go good. And she said that even though you know you 
some people may feel one way about something when you're in the moment sometimes you do things based on feel like allison banking that two ball earlier yeah. right yeah she could have played a containing safety could've. there and she it was it felt when like she's the done, bank would go it's one she's that containing safety is one she's done a million times right and she just fires the bank back yeah <laughs> she's so like she's eh. feeling the bank today i think i'm gonna do this yeah Margaret keeps getting that, like, if she'd break, the nine ball seems to just barely teeter over onto the template there, the way that she's got her break going on. And this is one, two, three, one, two, three, two balls on the break. Am I right? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. No, one nope, ball one. on the break. Nope, one. <clears throat> but is this two a legal break? Wrong. Was this legal? Yeah, they went around. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Oh, she, oh, she to hit it down. too hard. Slow it down. Slow it down. Hit it, which it's not going to slow. Not slowing. <laughs> it's a 2 8 combo. Oh. I feel all of this for Margaret. I had a match like this yesterday. <laughs> it, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> like, oh. it hurts. It's, I feel it right here. Did you hear it feeling in your chest yeah. right there? Yeah. That's it. Like, that's why I'm over here. Little tension thing. Mm -hmm. I just, it's, it's right in the, and you're just. Yeah, a little, little burn. Like, you're just like, oh. Yeah, as a pool player, you definitely feel what Margaret's going through right now. Um, and so many of us can say, "Girl, I feel it. I've been mm -hmm. there. I've been there." You know, maybe not in the exact same moment or in this a stage as big as this, but as pool players, I think we all can relate. Ooh, what angle did she get on this? She can go around. If she wants to towards that three, mm -hmm. she can now she can just play safe, but she can also go around. Yeah, this is uh, the three ball doesn't go past the pink four, mm -mm. so this is like Jeez. this is one of those decisions you have to make the decision while you're still standing. You can't get down on the ball till you've decided exactly what you're going to do. You can't shoot the ball with indecision. That's for sure. Or indecisiveness indecisiveness ah that she did word. she did she is she is She's going for it wow <laughs> what a great shot nice Beautiful. look at that look at that she'll go for this either honestly both corner pockets are mm -hmm. open whatever she prefers yeah the queuing's going to be a little awkward because she's bridging mm -hmm. over the pink four but mm -hmm. Little steady Eddie, Miss Allison Fisher here. Oh, she can cue normal. She, yeah, she's she just ran there. Didn't look like it. No, it did not. She'll be happy about that. Get her stay down. She makes me nervous because I don't know if it's going to go. <laughs> but she's steady, very steady. Yeah, because Allison doesn't move whether it goes or not. Five is in the center, right? Yeah. Seven, okay. I mean, the six is right in front of the pocket. The seven's right in front of the pocket. Mm -hmm. And she's on the hill. Yeah, you notice that Allison, she does all her pre-shot routine. She goes behind her next shot, makes sure she knows where she wants to be. That cue ball to land. Like Her her routine is impeccable. Oh, Oof. Oof. I know. <laughs> Wiped her feet <laughs> on the way in there. Dun, dun, dun. What is that when you're in the bars and something like that happens? Everybody's like, oh, you banked it in. <laughs> Do people really say that? Yeah, they do. You oh, have never my... had them say that? No, I don't shoot. Oh. I just I only shoot these things anymore. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, go yeah. anywhere. Uh, like I don't get league, out of the house much. League pool stuff like that. People will say that to you. Beautiful. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, like this Alice might be, Fisher. this might, might, might be the end right now for Margarita Fafalova Steyer. Allie's planning on it. Planning on sending her home. She owes her one, I think. I think Margaret got her in Wisconsin. So it's back and forth? Yeah. So this is so. the back? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Margaret may feel like she, she's like, oh, I shouldn't have did that to her. Shouldn't have done that. Came back nah. to get me. Nah, I think that's the point, right? We all get to this level in pool. These ladies are only 20 points difference in Fargo. Um, so there's not a big enough difference to really say. Who should win, mm -mm. right? It's just a matter of who who's having a great day. Pretty good speed like there. Allison's Pretty day is a little there. bit better than Margaret's. This one to advance to the next round. I 
Allison Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Margaret for having an absolutely stellar event. So uh, I'm sure she'll be pleased when it's all said and done. And we're going to hop over to our other match, Christina Tkach versus Brittany Bryant, which is currently tied up at 5-5. Five to five. I think the girls might be on their player break. So go ahead and enjoy some uh, some commercials, and we'll be right back with you. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are checking out this Christina Tkach and Brittany Bryant matchup. They are five to five in a race to eight. Let's do a little post here. Give me some thumbs up for Brittany Bryant. And how about some hearts if you think Christina Tkach is going to win? What do you guys got out there in the chat world? Brittany Bryant is breaking. She must have won the lag. We weren't privy to that. We were actually on the other match. All right. I had the privilege of getting stomped on by Brittany Bryant this week. <laughs> uh, yesterday morning or afternoon, a side matchup. Um, she was breaking the balls absolutely beautifully. Yes, the winner of this match will face Allison Fisher, the Duchess of Doom. Looks like uh, Brittany may be a little funny on the one. She may be trying to see how if she can go rail first here. She also has to be mindful, too. Uh, the red three is down here uh, at this end of the table here, down by the little diamond sign. Shout out to Diamond Tables for bringing us seven brand new Diamond Tables for this event. It was pretty awesome. They definitely treat us well. Yeah, I'm not getting my thumbs ups and my hearts, people. What do we say? Brittany was thumbs up and Christina was hearts. So, wow. Uh, Looks like Brittany only left herself the edge. She didn't get in the window of the three here. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, she definitely has to avoid the scratch to play the safety, but we know that that's Brittany can handle that. She's been playing really well in this event. She had a bit of a tight match with Bean yesterday on the A side, trying to secure a spot in the winner's bracket finals, but 
Just came up a little short. I think the final score was eight to six in favor of Bean. So stick around. Our next match will be the A side final between Bean Hung and Christina Zlatiba. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. I think Christina is definitely going to swing at this shot. She's going to. I think she, uh, Christina can make these. I, I've, I've seen her in practice, and she practiced a lot of shots shooting from the rail. She's very comfortable in that position. Um, you can tell that she's put some work in being comfortable shooting from that position. Yeah, we got some hearts. We got some thumbs ups. I don't know. I, I don't have a preference here. I just want them both to play great pool and have a great match. See, she hit that just like like she had full cue ball. Beautiful shot by Christina. The crystal. All right, so it looks here like Christina Takach is going to advance. These ladies have been back and forth the entire match. Never more than a one-game lead. I think at one point maybe Christina had a two-game lead on Brittany, but I'm not even a, a thousand percent sure that that's true. And it looks like Christina is going to get to six. This is a race to eight. The winner of this match will be playing Allison Fisher. And... Uh, for the A-side final, we have Christina Zlateva and Bean Hung. Yeah, so this is an alternate break format, um, and I think that's why it lends itself to uh, to a lot of hill-hill matches. You're going to see a lot of really close score lines at this point in the event. All the ladies are breaking well. Oh, it's 6-6. Six, six. Our, our scores did not update. All right, well, this match is even tighter than I thought. It's been this way every time we've checked in. They're within one of each other. And I can't tell from here if Christina has uh, the full, full one ball. She clearly has some of it, just based on how she's looking at the shot. She could just, I mean, it depends on what she's got on this ball. I can't tell exactly how much of it she's got. I was just taking pictures at the moment. I had to stop so I could smile. <laughs> See what Christina opts to do here on this one. It is a little 
Funny. Funny. I like how she did that, though. That's a great shot. She left it about as tough as she could leave it, considering what she started with. I actually think Brittany can pocket this ball. It's just tough. You're shooting from the pocket. You're bridging in the pocket. She can play this safety here and just bank it down table. Kind of try to put it on this middle diamond if she didn't like the shot. She went for it. She did. <clears throat> it was a tough shot. It was just awkward because you're not only in the pocket, but you're also like so close to the object ball, right? You're so close to the one. I find that really hard for my eyes. Mm -hmm. like just it, it just not sure if you're seeing the, the angle right when mm -hmm. it's that close. It's like an optical illusion. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, oh, she's not going to get there. Oh, I don't think there's a, I don't know if she's in between the four and nine, if she can see it or not. Had that cue ball more to the center of the table there. So she made a decision here, what she's going to do. She might be able to get between those. Oh, no, she's not sure. Thank you, Jerry, for that very detailed explanation. That was a lot. <laughs> All right, four ball, side pocket, four ball, side pocket, four ball, side pocket. She'll take it. She, of course, she raved her hand of an apology. <clears throat> but she'll take it. It gives her another chance to do something. Not that this two ball is really makeable. Queuing over the nine, really uh, close to the rail, the two ball, so... One shot after another, just a precarious position. She could try to. I mean, if she tries to make it, that's great. If she's comfortable doing that, to keep tiny little strokes and keep the cue close to the cue ball before execution. But she uh, she could also play the safety there. Mm. <clears throat> Not exactly sure what the attempt was. If she was trying to get under the seven. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But Brittany's not going to question it. She's going for it. <laughs> 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 She'll be like, I don't know what you did there, but thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take it. Take it. Yeah, so I like Brittany here. I like I like what she has the ability to do here. She can just play this with a nice smooth stroke. She can go one rail back across. Too technically, I guess. And I think here, if I were Brittany, I think I would just accept, I'd just stop it and accept the shot on the five. She can go forward, but I don't know that she needs to because she needs the angle on the orange five anyway. All right, so she she's basically taking the exact same angle, but just trying to get a tad closer. Nothing wrong with that isn't there. All right, it looks like she's, uh, Brittany and I actually just talked about these shots. She's going to drag this around two rails, even potentially three, to get on that seven. Oh, she wants to slow down. Okay, now go. <laughs> uh.
we actually just had a conversation about those shots. That's something that I think that Brittany Bryant um, excels at. Are those two and three railers? She uses those a lot if you get familiar with her game. She doesn't just roll balls in often. She usually shoots through them, which is a testament to the work that she's put in over the years on her game. She was talking the other day about the difference in playing shaft. She played with a type of wood shaft for so long that she had to she had to put a lot more effort into the shots with the shaft that she used to play with. And now with the one she plays now, it doesn't take as much. And uh, how she's just still so used to it. I forget the name that she said from the last one that she had, but... I think she had an Oliver custom cue. Before? I don't, know, I don't know any brands. I'm terrible with cues. No, it's okay. It was a custom cue. Yeah. Yeah. And I may be wrong there, so I apologize if I am. Oh. Look at the face. Oh. She's like, no. She's like, is this happening right now? <laughs> of all the places you can land, right? There's She's talking there's to the crowd. Five foot of space there she can <laughs> land in, and she lands elevated over the nine ball. That's probably what she's told them. Mm -hmm. She's like, really? Well, oh, I'm okay. pretty sure that her roadie and best friend, Taruko, is sitting kind of behind where our cameras are. Yeah. And so I think that's probably who she was looking at. Like, like, really? Is this really happening right now? Yeah. Hi, Ray. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, what a... Mm. Worst place. Let's see, that... Oh, wow. my gosh. I'm clapping in the booth. They yeah. can't hear me, but I'm clapping in the booth. Well, they so can't hear to do. you, but we all can. I know, right? You still love me, please. That oh, was such a great shot. And it was center of the pocket. It was perfectly executed. Yeah, there's a little lag in the scoring. And there was at ICB as well. Um, I'm not sure what the problem is. That would not be on our end. Definitely. So, um, Bonnie and I, whoa. Whoa, close. Close, close, close. Yeah, but it was happening in Iron City, too. It must just be something within um, the system of digital pool. Uh, and I'm sure they'll get it figured out. Their digital pool is the best in the business right now.
Alright, she had a, a good break, but no shot on the one. Played a great save here. I don't know how much um, Christina can see. They're, they're, this is so such a close match. She can't. So she's doing a two rail here? Does it look like two rails? Yeah, I think she lined up the two railer. Oh. I liked her there. She was trying to cause some separation, make some things move. Mm hmm a smart shot on Christina's part, just the one ball hit that nine and just died, stayed right there, so she didn't get the action out of it I think she would have preferred. All right, now Brittany, uh, this is, this can be a little touchy. She doesn't have full cue ball. In order to hold position for the two, kind of in the same pocket that she's getting ready to shoot the one, she may have to play this with a roll speed. And that's, like, not the funnest. Not fun no, at all. No. Because you really want to let loose, right? Like, you want to be able to shoot this ball and the cue ball not to travel super fast. But she may have to opt for the roll speed here. Like that. Great shot. Nice touch by Brittany Bryant. She did that pretty well. Yes, yeah, she sure did. Her eyes are still good, too. This the Cutting a ball this thin, like the two balls, not a uh, not difficult for her. Mm -hmm. She's great eyesight. Five? Does the five go past this? I wonder. Now, I mean, the cue ball is going to travel with the steep of an angle on the two. It's going to go all the way down table. With this high ball, I just hope she can find the window between the five and the four. Oh, How will. about not? Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, I didn't like her going past those balls, but. <gasps> but. Well, it could have been worse. She has a safety here as well. I mean, she could even play the four, the purple four there. She could play that back under the seven, bring the cue ball down table. Mm -hmm. She could play the cue ball under the seven. She could put that cue ball right behind the nine. Mm -hmm. She now, could do the six do is a bit in the way for that. But. Wouldn't that be nice? But if she can miss the six. Mm -hmm. And get behind the eight and nine. That's right. That would be the absolute ideal. Put the four behind the seven and five, cue ball behind the eight and nine, six ball. We'll see. Now, because she cuts the ball so well, she could play this with a super high ball with left hand English and just swing the cue ball back and forth mm, and try to keep it on the side of the and table. Looked. She just turned and looked at the eight and nine. Yeah, that's what she's trying to get. She would have liked to have gotten that orange or the purple four under the seven. Mm -hmm. She didn't really mm. get either ball where nope. she wanted. Nope. She had to commit to one of the two. I agree. That's the rule. That's what my coach told me. <laughs> Focus on one ball only when you're playing safe, not the other. Because if you, if you hide the cue ball, you did your job. It yeah. doesn't matter where the other ball's at. Or if you hide the other ball, right? doesn't matter so, where the cue ball's the at. The object ball. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's the rule. Brittany Bryant on the hill, ladies and gentlemen. Christina trying to get there. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Things are happening. That was actually all very lucky. Mm. She would have been hooked if it hadn't have hit the way that it did to bounce out. Mm -hmm. And, and the, way the she shot nine the four. didn't get in the way of the five right mm -hmm. now. There's so much that went on right there. Well, and the way she shot the four, she kind of was dependent upon a little bit of fortune. Yes. She was like, I'm going to make this ball and I'm going to move hope some things for the best. around. <laughs> and hope for the best. Now, I just, we fortune just Fortune favors the bold, right? Mm -hmm. I learned that from you. Yeah. God. She's going to go ahead and cross over this five, stick the cue under the nine. It's going to tap the seven and even make that yeah. angle harder. Look at that. Great shot by Christina. Snap, snap, snap. The crowd, the crowd gave her some claps. Snap, snap, snap. <clears throat> this definitely keeps her keeps her in the game here. Could end up with the one of those Hill Hill thrillers that we like so much. This has been a long match. They have battled it out. Mm -hmm. It's 11.38 here and we started at 10. So it's been pretty... Back and forth the whole time. Mm -hmm. They have 22 minutes to finish this match. <laughs> you telling them? <laughs> That's all you get, ladies. We got things to do at noon. <laughs> got other matches. We got other matches. They got to play again.
All right. Looks like Brittany's kicking at the orange five here. She gonna try to tie something up? I think she was looking at potentially tying something up. I know how I feel about that. She's gonna make a good hit here. Just a nice hit. If she can do it like she, I don't know if I would hit it super hard. Oh, I actually kind of liked rolling that kick shot a little more. Just with the brown seven being so close. Actually, this one's the maroon seven. Maroon? But it's not the maroon five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it was so good, and it just was right there at the tip of your tongue. Uh, oh, gosh. I haven't gotten to use that one yet. We haven't used this <laughs> set of balls in most of the matches. So. Uh, okay, you get a point for that Yay. one, by the way. All right, so it looks like Christina's looking to tie up this match and make it a Hill Hill Thriller. These ladies Ooh. are on a mandatory 40-second shot clock, I believe, but are they shot clocking this table? I do not know if they're shot clocking this table. I know they shot clock the feature table. That is a mandatory situation. I'm not sure. I felt like Brittany took a bit of a minute, mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit of time mm -hmm. shooting that kick shot, so maybe they're not shot clocking this match. Well, no, as long as not, they stay on pace, they're nobody not messes far. with them. They're yeah. not far within our window, though, no. because we're going to be Hill Hill, which is a max. I mean, we're talking 14 games. Yep. Yep. And so that's a lot of games. That's a lot of, oh, wow. Did that, did that? Bubble, she bubble? played the replace the ball. Yeah. Well, the seven, I thought, didn't go clear into the, like, bubbled a little before it went in. But that could have been my eyes. Hill Hill, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that awesome? The crystal versus the bombshell. For all the marbles. All right. These girls are fighting really hard to uh, not get eliminated from this event. These are elimination round matches. The winner of this match will immediately, after, in 15 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. And give them a few minutes to recover and use the restroom, take a break, and they will come right back and uh, be in another heated battle with the Duchess of Doom. It's going to be another one. There's not going to be a bad match today. Not a single, single bad match. All the matches are going to be great. These ladies are phenomenal. And they've all been playing so well this event. All right, for you guys, those of you who are in the chat, and if you're not in the chat, go in and check it out. we got a little poll going on. Who's going to win the Hill Hill Thriller, Christina or Brittany? Better hurry. Time's almost up to vote. All right. Tough right here. So she did make a legal break. Um but unfortunately, we've got a cluster of balls down here in the middle. And uh, she doesn't have a great shot here on the one ball. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Christina slow roll kicks at this one. Just because even if she tries to kick at it to make it, she's it's tough to get a shot on the blue two. So I see her slow rolling up underneath the one. And just tapping it. If she goes for the kick, she's going to push. That's a smarter shot. I forgot this was the first shot after the break. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, I'm analyzing all the great shots she could potentially make, and there was still a push involved in the equation. <laughs> Whoops. 
these ladies also, if they were on a shot clock or if they were on the feature table, they would get an extra timeout when they're hill hill. They allow one extra timeout per rack or the rack because there's only one. Brittany's trying to decide, does she accept this push and try to find a kick safety or if she can see the edge of the one? I can't tell if it's potentially a scratch, but she will be thin it, put the cue ball back on the other side of this purple four. Can't tell if she's got enough to come around. Oh, that's not good. The rack is so screwy, though. I'm, I'm just not... I'm not really sure. Christina, see, the two ball is a very weird place. Um, and so you have to be in the perfect window of the two. I like that she came over here and with ball in hand, she could potentially get under the blue two. I like that she looked at I that. Just, I just have a thought. What's that? Play another safety. Three foul. Yeah. I'm crazy to go out on Hill Hill like this on a three foul, but look at where the, the one ball is so messy with the four. I'm just saying, if you mm -hmm. tapped the one and brought it all the way up here and left the cue ball behind the four. Yes. I and agree. then do it one more time because you have the cluster where the rack was. Yeah. You could, this technically is a very you could good three foul Brittany out high for the percentage win. of a three foul on this rack. Cause that was one. But well, and she can still put her on one, and you know it's what I true. mean. She true. can still do it if she gets weird on the two, but, but the one's kind of the perfect ball to play it's from. Just how do you? Do you no. know what I mean? Yeah, Christina's got See, herself in a bind it's here. Such a hard rack. I just mm -hmm. thought that was a good option, and I don't normally go there. But yeah, but you know, she might not have even thought about it at the moment, right? Because they're in the middle of the battle, I right? And sometimes you know how it is. You don't yeah. think about those you don't. things. You don't. You don't. And then in hindsight, Christina may come back to watch the stream and be like, "Oh, mm -hmm. I, I could have. I should have think about the three foul, right? Could have, should have. Because you're in the moment, so you don't really always think about those things. Anzi, Anzi." I hope I'm saying that right. That's totally cool. I like your name. Carly, if you make it to um, borderline, I'll finally get to see you. I missed you the last time. That would be awesome. Okay, right, here we go. Good hit. Oh boy. Things are moving. <sighs> All right, so Brittany comes back to the table. This so is... Brittany has more decisions to make here. She has to make some decisions. Well, because if she puts the two ball in the left corner pocket, the traffic doesn't let her move the cue ball to make sure she has a clear shot on the three. It's just, I, but she does have a lot of balls down there to hide behind if she decides to play safe. So that's an option too. Wow. Uh-oh. I hope she can see this red three. She didn't, like she, can. she didn't bend to, to peak, so I think maybe She's she can. definitely got the three ball. That was a nice shot by Brittany Bryant. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, guys, don't forget before you, uh, you know, 
get back in the chat, pull back out of the chat and hit the thumbs up button, folks. We could use the likes, thank you so much. Mike oh, says goodness. we need 10 more likes to hit 200, but we have 700 people in our stream. So if you guys could take a second, we'd appreciate it. Go back and hit the like button for the video, the live stream. And he's gotta be mindful here. She doesn't really wanna bump the orange five. Beautiful shot. Look at it. She didn't even move. She just mm -hmm. stayed there. That a girl, Brittany Bryant. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. She's fighting. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Randy. All no right. pressure. No pressure, right? No. Take the ball. Come back up table. Shoot the six in the same pocket. Perfect angle for getting the eight. Mm -hmm. It's natural. She, uh, what a great, great rack she's running here. That two ball was a beautiful two, I shot. I didn't think it went in that pocket. I couldn't even see the opening. There's too she, many balls in the she way. She hit it so well. She did. And that was the game winning shot. Yeah, beautiful. It's going to be a good one. Her ability to make, I mean, a shot like that in, any, in either pocket just so well. <sighs> So, I got little goose bumpies no. watching Brittany run out. That's the cold air coming from her <laughs> because I'm freezing right now. <laughs> we're, we're it back, may be a little both. We're back by the bay doors in this, in this convention center so or in the arts center. So uh, it's cold back and here. And I'm, I'm going to have to put a jacket on here in a second because it's starting to... Somebody Or somebody opened the door. <laughs> we literally can't see the pool tables at all. Nothing. So we're, we're just in a little... Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> All right, Brittany, let's go, baby. It's for your second point of the day. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Brittany. One time, girl. Uh -huh. She's got to settle in, get comfortable, do all the work, do the work. Beautiful shot by Brittany Bryant. Off the rail, get off the rail, get off the rail. Mm. This looks like it may be the end of the road for the crystal. A good match. Great match. It's been a good match. All right. Congratulations to Christina Takach for a fantastic fifth, sixth place finish, mm -hmm. I believe. Brittany Bryan is currently sitting and guaranteed in fourth place. She will be up next uh, with the Duchess of Doom, Miss Allison Fisher. Mm -hmm.